Femi Branch, our brother, don't come outside though. He say everywhere is silent concerning Mobad R.I.P. Say even the silence is deafening. Guys, I bet may you listen to what is this our brother talk. Guys, follow my page. Share, 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 guys. Follow me on Facebook. Talani Ilesami and so silent. Silence. In fact, the silence is deafening. Very loud. Every once in a while, we just have, you know, one or two people just come out, bah, just throw some, you know, fresh wood into the fire, stoke the fire, small, 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 the fire will come, go down again. In case you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Mubad. Because it seems everywhere is just quiet, nobody's talking. It started when the police said, okay, fine. They started the autopsy and everything. Everybody should wait for the results. So we went down trusting them and waiting. And okay, let's wait to hear what they're going to say. And by the time they eventually came out, it was now even more confusing because the, the only thing that uh, the police commissioner achieved with that uh, conference was to confuse everyone. Because you said that... Um, the autopsy and toxicology reports are yet to be concluded. Uh, so, then the next one you are saying that is the three injections that was given by the auxiliary nurse, the quack nurse, that led directly to his death. I think that was the statement, which made the nurse the prime suspect. Okay. And I say, okay, the fight. Way prime boy, what in the name? Fight time for a Korobu too. Kula bled and everything. Then the you know the whole thing is just confusing because I don't even want to misquote anything or anyone right now. So the problem is why everywhere is silent is because everyone is just confused right now. Nobody really knows what to say. Okay, so what's going on? So are we still fighting for justice? Okay, so are we still talking okay so are we still protesting so okay so what's happening okay so what does that report mean okay so what's going on and then i saw a video by a very dark black man and he's saying that okay now this is what he has been saying and now he has been proven right okay now justice has been gotten justice from Obad. and everything is now settled okay we can now go back to other things you know on to the next i think that's what he said you know on to the next you know it is sorted because if now what is so there nothing is sorted Justice has not yet been gotten for Mubad. What's wrong with everyone? I think justice has not been gotten for Mubad. Because when you say justice has been served, look at the case. You understand? Of the lawyer that was killed by that, that trigger-happy policeman in Lagos. And the trigger-happy policeman has been sentenced to death by hanging. Do you understand? Now, in that case, you would think, yes, justice has been served. Justice has not been served until that guy hangs at the end of a rope. Because the, his lawyer, I think his lawyer is, is still talking about appeal, that they, he has a right to appeal. So, they can. so the case is not over until it is over. Until that man hangs at the end of a rope, justice has not been served for that lawyer. Just like until the person that killed Mubad or the people that killed Mubad have been caught, taken to court, found guilty, and sentenced either to life imprisonment or to death or to whatever they will be sentenced. Until the sentence is passed and they start serving that sentence, justice is not served. There is no justice for Mubad yet. The police conference or the police press conference or whatever it is that happened ended up confusing Nigerians more than we were confused before. It did not shed light on anything, really. They told us things we already knew. That the nurse that gave injection, this and this and this, and we knew that information already. Do you understand that? Okay, Prime, but we, the, the police just told us things we knew. What we are waiting for is what does the autopsy say? The toxicologist wanted the police come out with the autopsy and toxicology reports. The police have, have not given us anything. So at best, people are just confused from the from the last conference. So everybody's just confused, and everybody's like, okay, okay. So 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 what are we doing now? So okay, so what's going on? Okay, so are we still calling for justice? So, so I, everybody's just confused. But I want us to be focused because contrary to what some people are saying, the, which justice now? I don't understand. I don't understand English. I'm sorry, go. On. Until the culprits are found, 
taken to court, tried, found guilty, sentenced to whatever the sentence will be, and they commence their sentence and the ruling is final, that is when justice has been served. All this nonsense that they just going up and down, they just and people are just distracted. Even all this one of just the 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 the, 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 the focus now is not giving money to anybody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I I try to avoid talking about that. The focus is not why how can anybody even be collecting money right now? Anybody that is collecting money right now, I will, they need to check that person. They need to check that person. Then kill your picking or your husband or whatever it is. And the next thing now, you are donating money and you, you, are, you are giving out account number for people to be donating money. For someone that has been killed, you don't even know the cause of his death yet. You don't even, you don't even know whether the best way to kill and go see day after he picking or day after his wife or day after whatever. You don't even know what's up yet. When they, when they do like say everything, don't finish. Culprits be punished. And you are giving money, you are giving account.